This year, St Aloysius Garnet Hill is embarking on an exciting historical research project. For the past few years, ESOL classes have been run in the parish's Ogilvy Centre, which help refugees and asylum seekers learn English, which is vital in helping them find work and integrate better into society. At around this time, it was realised that the church's Companiel Bell Tower which is now well over 100 years old, was in bad need of repair due to the effects of time and weather. Much of the exterior stonework is now in disrepair and in urgent need of repair work to preserve the historic building. We are working on uh, the tower, uh, repairing all the stonework, pointing damaged stonework, taking it out, dressing back any stone that's damaged. Uh, also inside, they took the, the old staircase out and they're putting new floors in to access the bell tower. Um, up the top is a, the old cross, which was gold gilded, which was badly faded. So we've climbed that, and that'll be getting a gold gild, which should hopefully last for about another 40 to 50 year, rather than just painting it. Um, but we're nearly there, we're getting there now. So uh, here we are at the top of uh, St Aloysius uh, Campanile Tower. And this is the, uh, the cross which is, has been primed, as you can see, and it's ready for a, a coat of gold leaf, uh, which is going to be done fairly soon, I'd imagine. So that's, that's the very pinnacle of St Aloysius Church. Fortunately, St Aloysius has been awarded a grant from the National Lottery Heritage Fund to help restore the tower and preserve it for the people of Garnet Hill. As part of the funding requirements, St Aloysius are required to show some of the work they do to help the local community. This gave Kevin Weiber, who leads the ESOL classes, the idea of combining the English classes with a photography project to explore the history of Garnet Hill through the eyes of the refugees and asylum seekers, the new Glaswegians. So it's a kind of uh, summary, if you like, of the heritage of Garnet Hill. Um, but not through my eyes, not through the eyes of the art school, through the eyes of the refugees and asylum seekers who have come here to make Glasgow their home. And uh, because they are students in the St Aloysius East Hill classes, uh, Garnet Hill is uh, naturally the closest area they've got to investigate and because it was in connection with the Heritage Lottery uh, Award uh, they, were, they were asked to participate. So it's through the eyes of refugee, of new Glaswegians we call them. So this project um, was done to help refugees who uh, need to acquire English in order to hold down jobs and so on. Some of them already have considerable skills but they can't use them unless they have a command of English. So they come here um, Monday to Friday, 10 till 12. Can be any level of English. Some would have no English whatever, uh, not even the alphabet. Others might be fairly strong in English, but need to improve it. And then we subdivide them according to their level and they do practice of writing, words, vocabulary, etc. And when they've got to a certain level of English, reasonably good, they then go to a college where they can take the English further, more sophisticated. And all of this is likely to help them if they're going to apply for a job, or of course in everyday life, just doing things like shopping and conversation and things like that. The final aim of the project was to share this vision of Garnet Hill in the local community, in the form of a photographic exhibition that seen through the eyes of the newcomers, the heritage of the area will be seen anew, with the added benefit of those new to the city learning more about the place they now call home, whilst improving their English skills. Now looking, <coughs> looking up over here, and we're looking di directly up Hill Street, uh, you can just about see the, the old convent uh, chapel, Convent of Mercy, on the right. And beyond that, you see Glasgow University and the Kelvin Grove Art Galleries to the left. 
In order to get the project up and running, Kevin approached the Glasgow School of Art, which is fortunately situated in Garnet Hill, to see if they would be interested in beginning photography classes. The art school was delighted to help. They provided equipment and began classes to teach the new Glaswegians the basics of photography. The classes took to the streets of Garnet Hill to photograph buildings and street scenes that caught their attention or reminded them of their country of origin. Under the guidance of Betty Meyer from the Glasgow School of Art, the students began to explore their creative sides as they were set different weekly tasks with a particular focus. Kevin, I think, contacted the art school and he was looking for somebody just to give them a bit of guidance. So he already knew what he wanted. Um, he was looking for, you know, them to take pictures of the heritage of Garnet Hill. Uh, but he just wanted a wee bit input from somebody that knew about photography. So, um, yeah, so really I'm just facilitating them to do, you know, take the pictures. So just like giving a little bit of guidance here and there about, you know, uh, every week sort of kind of topics to do. Kevin mostly wants uh, the kind of history of the area. So that's like the, the main part of it. And uh, he's doing a lot of, um, like he's getting them to write things and research the history of the area. Uh, so um, the things that I've been doing with them, um, it's just little exercises today. It's on architecture, but um, last week we were sort of just taking pictures of the colours in Garnet Hill, uh, focusing in on the colours that they could find there and sort of put that together. And it, I was just saying to Kevin, it, it just gives them a different kind of focus so that it might take their photographs just slightly differently than they might normally. And you might end up with pictures that are just a little bit different. Um, we've also been sort of uh, talking about this sort of cultural, their culture, this culture, and things like the weather and things like that. When we applied for a grant to repair the church tower, uh, Heritage Lottery Fund are very keen that the grant has a kind of communal dimension, that it helps the, the local community and um, therefore has a kind of focus on people in general. And the, this particular project, the ESOL project, Learn to, en to English, is very helpful in that it deals with all sorts of people, and, and particularly people who are kind of finding their way into the community, trying to make connections and friendships and things like that. With the help of Kevin, they also researched the buildings and sites which were photographed in order that this information would complement the artwork at the exhibition and the knowledge collated could then be shared with the wider community. So today we're, we're here at Glasgow School of Art and um, it's an exciting day. Um, we're putting up the, the photographs and the writing that the group from St Aloys Church has been working on. So it's the first chance for the, the group also to see their, their work here in situation and see it at the size it's at. As the artwork is prepared for tomorrow's opening of the exhibition, the students reflect on their choice of photographs and explain the significance of their choice. But the Scotland really nice because the, I like that that's greenery and the outdoor park and everywhere really, really nice. I enjoy when they go there everywhere in the Scotland, in the street and everywhere they here. I like the tenement house in the Garnica really. I enjoy when I go there and I take the too many photos because I like to keep the old photo about the old place in the that's home really nice and I enjoy. I believe education is very important for everybody. And uh, if you don't have education, you, you can't do anything. And I think it's very important education for, for, uh, for world. That's why I, I choose the Garnet Bank School for uh, this project. I took uh, a lot of photos from Garnet Bank School and other places. And uh, I, I went to library and uh, have uh, some uh, research about the uh, Garnet Bank School. And uh, I, I wrote, wrote it about it, wrote, I wrote about, about the Garnet Bank School. And uh, I, uh, I, I taught some 
uh, something about the photography here and it was very good experience for me. Uh, I happy to choose uh, St. Louis College. Why? Because actually uh, I like education. Um, in my opinion, education uh, first important step to grow up uh, generation. It helps me to think about past. In Glasgow, how people made made it for education. I'm very happy with. I got uh, I got participate participate to the exhibition. Uh, I like Glasgow and I like Scotland. We take pictures of old uh, building and um, uh, historical places, and also there is uh, synagogue. Also, we took a lot of uh, photos of in Garnet Hill. And there is a lot of, of uh, 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 historical design, like Macintosh building. Yeah? It was amazing. Yeah? And Glasgow is very rich by the culture of building. And my English is improved, and I hope it will improve more. I think um, the work looks amazing. I just think it's of a, a, a really great quality. And considering this is just a six weeks workshop, you know, six workshops that the, the group's been involved in, uh, it's really tremendous the, the quality of work they've produced. And I think um, uh, when people come to see the exhibition, they'll learn, even those that uh, live in Garnet Hill, they'll learn so much about the, the buildings. Um, there's, I've worked here for a, a good while now, and um, I'm finding out things from the, the, the panels that have been written about each of the places, so I think people will really enjoy finding out about the buildings of Garnet Hill. The day has finally arrived. The opening of the exhibition to the public. A very proud moment for the new Glaswegians and their families. We are in uh, Fleming House uh, in uh, Renfrew Street in Glasgow. Uh, we're just about to open the exhibition. It opens at 20 minutes at one o'clock. Uh, we're expecting huge, vast crowds. I'm so impressed with what the students have done in such a short time because it was only like um, six weeks, two hours a week and you know they put heart and souls into it and they were so enthusiastic and um, motivated. Uh, they were just a total delight to work with so uh, but yeah when you see the results I'm very impressed with what they came out with. It, it's great to see it up on the wall. So um, when Kevin came and approached Glasgow School of Art, um, so I started in November time and a key focus of my role is to look at partnerships and ways of collaborating with organisations, residents and businesses in the local area. So when Kevin approached us, I thought this was a great opportunity to develop this relationship with St Aloysius Church. So I guess uh, my role was to kind of see how GSA could support and collaborate. So I brought Jenny in and Betty in and then kind of as a, yeah, as a team kind of worked on this project together. It was a quite specific idea in some ways, but then also just to be able to work and develop it together. It's great just to see it, see it all, yeah, all on the walls and looking really beautiful. This is the first time I've seen it, and, and to me it's essentially about freedom. That's what the East Hall classes have given the refugees, the migrants, freedom to learn English, freedom to be themselves, freedom to express themselves, and to become new Glaswegians. I'm very, very pleased with it. I think it's a must-see for most people and I'd encourage anybody to come and see which is a wonderful exhibition in a wonderful part of Glasgow. I think it's absolutely excellent and a great credit to the students and to the people that helped organise it and I think it makes you look at things in a new way. Quite outstanding. I, and it's, it's interesting just to see a bit more of the history and uh, what's behind them, so I'm enjoying it, so it's good. It's great that it has been achieved, um, because a few months back I got clear ideas on what we were trying to do, and it's come into focus. And now we realise that Garland Hill actually is a very interesting area. 
and this exhibition it brings out the kind of all the different aspects of it uh, which when you live there you often just don't notice so you take them for granted and now it, it really brings them to the front and you realize what an extraordinary place Garnet Hill is. How do we probably get the Garner Hill community more together than they are you know that um, it, it makes it clear it is a natural community. It's got a location. Um, help people to kind of feel at home with it. Also, a lot of people come to Garner Hill from outside, businesses and so on. It may help them to realise it is a special place and not just somewhere you happen to kind of pass through all the time. Well, I think it's given them a lot more confidence. I mean, they obviously have been improving their English all along, but what this has done is enable them to show that they've got a lot of talents of their own, especially the photography and so on. Um, it's also meant they've introduced this area to them in a way they would not have been conscious of before. So it makes them feel at home in Garnet Hill. Learning about Garnet Hill, learning about the area, um, you know, seeing how interested they were in it, but uh, they have a real deep appreciation of Glasgow and uh, very happy to be here, you know, so they were a total delight to work with. But um, it was also great working in a team with um, Jenny and Harriet and Kevin, you know, and they pulled all the elements together. So, yeah, it was just, it was, I'm really grateful to be part of the project. We are the architects for the um, the Campanile, so the lottery application. This is part of the um, uh, delivering the uh, interpretation plan for the uh, for the application and the the building for the church. I think it's a really fantastic. Well, as well as the photography, which is really interesting, the the commentary that's underneath and the interpretation of the students about what it means to them is really very interesting. I think so. It's, um, yeah, it's, I've been very impressed with it so far. Basically, it's about our new Glaswegians researching and displaying their findings on the heritage of Garnet Hill. And for, for me, as a person who was born and bred in Garnet Hill, I've learned more in the last two months than I have in the last years. <laughs>Oh, it's been a wonderful project as a, as a project is woven through a number of things all together um, and into, including just the, the personnel, really people from the parish, the teachers, the refugees themselves, Kevin, the art school, all of those things. It's been a, it's a wonderful kind of melting together of things. Well, the, the fruit partly is in the, is the art itself, you know, and, and just the, the different eyes that it's looked after. I think one of the, 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 probably the better one is the human relationships that are developed because whether it's been with the art school or the parish or the ESOL school itself, I think friendships have been made, which sometimes it can be quite difficult to do, especially if there's a cultural differences between them. So that, I, I think that's, that's the lasting one. The pictures are great, but they may fade. Hopefully the friendships won't.